Deciding when to regroup for subtraction, 6.3. Sometimes when we subtract, we'll need to take away a large number from a smaller number. Like here. If we have 32 and need to take 8 away, you look in the 1's place, we have 2 and we need to take away 8. Well, we can regroup one of the 10's as 10 ones, three tens, and two ones is the same thing as, look, we can regroup these we took apart one of the tens, right? put it here on the ones place. Now we have ten ones and two ones. So the three tens and two ones is the same thing as two tens and twelve ones. By taking ten ones from the tens place, now we can take the eight away, can't we? Because we have twelve ones here. So we can take eight of these away. We can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to leave two tens and four ones. We had three tens and two ones. We wanted to subtract eight. We're left with two tens and four ones. We took one of the tens and broke it apart and gave it to the ones. See? So, here I have a chart. We're going to show some tens and ones and subtract an amount. We're going to decide if we need to regroup and then see how many tens and ones are left. And we can use models to help us. Okay, so let's do this first one. It says, show four tens, one one, subtract five. So over here, I've got four tens and one one. We need to take five away. Well, there's only a 1 here. So what we can do is break this apart as 1's and regroup it to the 1's place. See? We'll take one of the 10's and give it to the 1's. Now we've got 3 10's and 11 1's. We need to subtract 5. So did we need to regroup? Yes, we did. We need to subtract 5, so let's take 5 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll take these 5 away. And now how many are left? 3 tens and 6 ones. We had four tens and one one, and by breaking one of the tens apart and giving it to the ones place, we were able to take the five away, and now we have three tens and six ones. See? Let's try that again. It says show two tens and nine ones and subtract seven. So, we need to show two tens and nine ones and we need to subtract 7. Do we need to regroup some of the 10s to take 7 away? No, not this time. We have 9 here. We can take 7 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many are left? We're left with 2 10s and 2 1s. Did we need to regroup? Nope. How many are left? Two tens and two ones. Let's try one more. It says to show five tens and five ones and subtract nine. So here we have five tens and five ones and we need to take nine away. We only have five ones here. So we can take one of the tens 
and we can give it to the ones, see? We'll break it away from the tens place, put it in the ones place, and now we don't have five tens and five ones anymore. We have four tens and 15 ones. See, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We needed to subtract nine. Now we can take nine away. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. How many are left? Four tens and five six ones. Did we need to regroup? Yes, we did. Now, we needed to regroup on the first one, but not the second one. And then we needed to regroup on the third one. So what was happening that we needed to regroup sometimes, but not others? Look at the ones place. We got four tens, but we have one one, and we need to take away five. So the number we're subtracting was bigger than what was in the ones place. So yes, we had to regroup. For this one, there were nine ones, and we needed to subtract seven. Well, the number we were subtracting was smaller than what was in the ones place, so we didn't need to regroup. For this one, we had five ones and needed to take nine away. The nine is bigger, so yes, we needed to regroup. When we look at the ones place, if the two-digit number doesn't have enough ones, we regroup them. We have eight tens, and we have four ones. If we need to subtract 7, we give a 10 as 10 ones to the ones place. We just move over one of the tens to the ones place. See? Now, instead of 8 tens and 4 ones, we have 7 tens and 14 ones. Now we can take 7 away. We can subtract the 7. We can take away these 4, 5, 6, 7, and how many are left? 7 tens and 7 ones. See? So we just regroup one of the tens into the ones place. All right? Let's try some problem solving. Bob has four dimes and three pennies, and he wants to give Dave five cents. So what can Bob do? Well, he's got four dimes and three pennies. How can he give him five cents? A dime is a ten, so he's got, a, he's got four tens and three ones. So we think, Bob has four tens and three ones. He can change one dime and regroup it into a nickel and five pennies. He can take one of these dimes that is worth 10 cents and trade it for a nickel and five pennies because that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the same thing as a dime, isn't it? It's got the same value. Now he's got three dimes, one nickel, and eight pennies. And he can give Dave five cents because he's got change to do it. See? He can either give Dave the five pennies or he can give him the nickel, couldn't he? All right, so that's deciding when to regroup for subtraction when you're trying to subtract some ones that has a number larger than the menu ends ones, the one you're taking it away from, then yeah, we need to regroup. If you're trying to subtract a number that's smaller, then we don't need to regroup, we just subtract it, okay? We're going to talk about regrouping from the tens place more and subtracting. I'll see you next video. Bye.